Hey guys, uh, this is going to be for Sagittarius second part. Uh, it cut out on the first part. I guess I didn't have enough uh, memory <laughs> in my little laptop here or tablet. So we're going to go ahead and do the second part. Um, it does say Archangel Michael is with you and he is protecting you. Feathers are very significant here. So when you're seeing feathers, um, you just know that you're you're receiving wisdom. I just got the page of swords too. That's also uh, studying. Um, maybe you might be uh, studying or reading a lot about the Bible at this time or angels. Uh, you're really feeling angelic uh, presence and and then I got my um, my strength card, my Leo card. Uh, you could also be getting a lot of guidance from um, Leo side of the family I'm hearing okay they are guiding you and in, in trying to assist you in what was this um, there will be some kind of okay I'm also the the child and there's a child that will be I'm, I'm seeing mother's arms a mother's arms okay um, this justice has been had Okay, justice has been served um, and I'm also seeing a, a child in a mother's arms and then judgment uh, yeah that's beautiful uh, re reuniting okay reuniting I'm hearing page of wands uh, it, you're really gonna have to guide this child and direct this child in a direction um, coddling and, and showing a page of pentacles and a page of wands uh this child's gonna need some some guidance from you and a, a father possibly uh for um to find a, a spark about them a creativity about them and then the page of pentacles that's representing new to business or money uh this is going to be very significant for teaching a child how to create wealth okay and um and also how to love properly okay um the lover's card bottom the deck this child let me get let me get some cards on this child oh that one wanted to flip okay yes this child uh has is in hermit mode really self-reflecting at this time okay um there is a lot of temptation around this child okay mother and dad mom and dad are really going to have to uh assist in guiding okay uh, the Queen of Cups. Uh, teach this child how to love all over again. That's what I'm hearing. Teach this child how to love all over again. Learning uh, how to create money, how to um, find that passion, that balance, that happy medium. Um, also Sagittarius, I'm really hearing, and then I got my Empress card bottom of the deck. That's, you know, motherly energy. So um, Sagittarius, I'm really hearing that um, this child is going to need lots of, um, attention and guidance. Um, but also a child is also, um, going to need to learn how to save money and use their intuition. Okay. And communicate, uh, Sagittarius, you could also have a big problem with, uh, getting your point across without being so, um, outspoken or blunt. Okay. Um, I'm hearing that we really need to work on our communication because there can be some, uh, emotional, emotional communication. Emotions are high, running very high. And when emotions are running high, we don't exactly get out what we're trying to say correctly. Um, but there will be victory, okay? There will be uh, clear communication um, because somehow or somebody feels like, yeah, somebody feels like, okay, I have, I have abandonment issues here. It, it, somebody feels like somebody's going to drop them and leave, okay? Um, but that's not going to be the case at all. It could be a child feels like they have uh, abandonment issues, like um, th that at any time uh, things are going to go bad, 
subconscious mind. Things are going to go bad. They're going to go toxic. I'm hearing a lot of negative talk. Uh, this child could also um, be really stuck in in self doubt, um, self pity about a past situation uh, that they're trying to break free from. Uh, but they are going to have victory in breaking free from this toxic mindset or these thoughts. Um, they are going to heal. They're in healing mode right now, hangman. Uh, they are going to be healing. But this child's going to need lots of guidance from you. Lots of guidance. Yeah. Yeah. And But they are manifesting. So um, the best guidance I could give to you to, to give to them is positive thinking. Positive thinking. Uh, what you speak about, you bring about. What you feel becomes real. This person is the magician. Um, also, uh, they are wanting to fill a void. Okay. I'm hearing they're wanting to fill a void <clears throat> of, uh, <sighs> love. They're, they're trying to find a, a romantic partner because they're trying to fill a void <clears throat> in, in a motherling energy that they, they're lacking or they, uh, were neglected from or uh maybe there were some past trauma situations between a mother and a son here uh that there's some healing that needs to take place um and and but they are reaching for it they're 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 reaching trying to find this love in all the wrong places uh this child could also be attracted to you know older women i got the high priestess <laughs> i got the queen of pentacles <laughs> So this, this person could be, uh, could have mommy issues and, um, and all it's going to take is, is going within and being guided in the right direction. Yeah. Learning, learning all over again. I'm hearing they have to learn all over again. Yeah. I had the, the Empress and the Queen of, of Swords. The Empress was in reverse. So yeah, they're seriously lacking um, a motherling energy and and they need to get that motherly energy again so um, I'm really feeling like mom needs to step up and um, and be there for this child um, communication is key eight of wands communication is key because right now this person has their their hearts blocked it's blocked and they, they can't see an out. And that's why they may be acting out. That's why they may be um, having a lot of trouble with temptation, uh, getting in trouble, I'm hearing, uh, acting out. Um, you know, they need that, they need that uh, empress energy and to correctly heal, okay? Because right now, they're in a lack mentality and they're only manifesting... Uh, see this girl five cup or five of pentacles uh they're they're kind of manifesting subconsciously uh, um abandonment being left out in the cold and it's because that's all they ever knew so um a mom or mom and dad you know uh there are some family issues that need to be healed here um that needs to be looked at and taken care of uh if you're able to do that Sagittarius maybe you are the person that has also some uh, lack mentality or abandonment issues from your mom and dad in the past and once you realize it uh, you can't unknow what you already know so your body automatically starts making big changes okay you there is big change coming and um, and I have a feeling because it's it's this realization. <clears throat> you have your archangels with you in your life. Very strong right now. And uh, they are guiding you. Um, yeah, it is time to set healthy boundaries as well. It is time to take back your power, free yourself, and set boundaries. Okay, so um, this child, whenever you try to come forth and be that mother and give this child sorry my eye is just give this child this loving energy um this child could retaliate okay but that's because hurt 
people tend to hurt people. Um, I wouldn't necessarily hold it against this child, but you have to set healthy boundaries. Even though it may hurt uh, to do that, you know, hey, if you're going to act this way, then, you know, um, don't don't push them away. Don't say you can't come over or anything like that. Just say, hey, you can't act this way. And if you're going to act this way, then I'm not going to talk to you and give them the silent treatment. Or um, if you're dealing with a younger person, you know, take away uh, their phone, take away their video games. Hey, if you're going to act this way, I, uh, you're going to you're going to be giving me something because you cannot act like this way. You have to set those healthy boundaries. Um, even though maybe you haven't been in their life, um, you still have to set those healthy boundaries because if you let them walk all over you and get away with whatever they want, uh, you're crippling them. You're hurting them even more. So don't let them get away with whatever they want. Um, if they're older, yes, you have to pay rent. You have to help with utilities and food. Uh, look for a job um, if they're a little bit younger you know uh, if you're gonna talk to me this way or treat me this way then uh, you're gonna be on timeout or you're gonna be on restriction and and take away the things that they like the most you know phones or whatever video games um, you have to set those healthy boundaries because um, yeah you have to teach them you also have to teach them how to uh, relove again you have to teach them how to, uh, you know, maybe um, work in a family dynamic, you know, uh, where there's equal give and take here. You're not going to talk to me this way or this is going to happen, cause and effect, you know, those healthy boundaries. All right, Sagittarius, I love you guys and take care and I will get back to you soon. Bye.